Hey guys, it's Ashton. Um, this is week 10 of FTM Kickstart, and we are talking about swimming. Oh, swimming. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I used to go swimming all the time when I was a little kid, and uh, as I got older, it progressively got less and less that I actually went swimming. Um, Part of it was due to uh, dysphoria just about my body in general, um, not being happy with uh, my weight was one, and then um, as I became more aware of my uh, how I felt physically in regards to some of my other characteristics, uh, it was even not an option, even more so. Um, so, like Jack, uh, for a long time I didn't go swimming, and if I did, it was in very specific situations, um, if I knew that it was just gonna be some people that I knew, so it was kind of like a pri more of a private si scenario, or, um, really the only time that I remember, uh, going swimming recently, uh, was... I went and floated the river, the Guadalupe, with some friends, and out there everybody's drunk and no one really cares, so I know, swimming, drinking, good combination. Um, so I, um, yeah, I avoided swimming for a long time. Um, when I did go, uh, the only thing I really wore were board shorts and um, it was like a rash guard type top but it was really um, kind of loose fitting so it didn't like cling to my chest um, I have never been able to regardless of uh, binding like you can always tell that I had a chest so I wasn't gonna wear a binder to go swimming um, that didn't sound very comfortable so I just wore that gr rash guard because <clears throat> luckily my ch my chest is for you uh, isn't as bad as some people's or wasn't as bad as some people's um, it probably would have been if like hiding it was ever an option but it never was like even with a binder and everything I s it still was there so it was just something I learned to deal with um, I do know that Underworks has the swimming uh, binder my friend has one and uh, he uses it it seems to work okay for him uh, or other things that I've heard people do is use old binders um, but like I said I just used a rash guard it was really like loose fitting actually I think I have it mm. here we go it was by body glove that's what it was it's like this and it's really like loose fitting um, so it didn't like cling to my chest or anything like that and then I wore like two sports bras with it um, that's also an option I mean if you um, can handle it is to just uh, wear a couple sports bras with a t-shirt or um, if you're comfortable with your body um, I know some people who uh, some guys who are trans but they've just come to accept their body and that would really um, be ideal I mean everybody should I mean it's too bad that not everyone can do that regardless of trans or not but um, and they just wear you know board shorts with a swimming suit top or sports bras or whatever um, I say do whatever makes you comfortable um, so yeah uh, as far as packing I have never packed um, I don't really feel the need to, even in going swimming, because I could care less what anyone else thinks of me or my gender. Um, so I don't feel the need to have a bulge in my pants to prove something to somebody. Um, I think Parker said it. Like, I really, uh, you know, I think swimming should be a fun thing, and you shouldn't be concerned with, you know, can they see my boobs? Do I need to have a bulge in my pants? Just go and have fun. Go swim. But, you know, I understand that that's not also, like, always an option for some people. Because 
not everyone can overcome those things. It's a, you know, it's a mental game. Uh, and then, scars after surgery. I have gone swimming a couple times since I've had my surgery. And not once has anyone asked me about my scars. And um, they were in very public places out at lakes. Um, but I feel as though the, w well, the way I plan on dealing with it, <laughs> it's kind of an asshole move to do. But if anybody asks me about it, I'm going to be like, I don't want to talk about it. And act like it's a really traumatic experience. Because people will probably leave me alone <laughs> if that's what I say. Um, so, I mean, that's my plan. I really... Uh, I can't see a lot of people approaching me about my scars. They are kind of like a taboo topic because you don't know what's happened to somebody. And not everyone automatically, like, because we're in the world that we're in, like, we see those scars and we think, oh, you know, top surgery. Uh, but not everyone is constantly surrounded by this world. Like, for a long time, my family didn't even know that a rainbow was like a gay pride thing. So, um, if you're not in that world, a lot of times you don't think that way. So. There's no telling uh, what they think happened to you. I mean, it could be some traumatic, horrific accident, and they don't want to bring it up, so they're not going to ask. Um, so yeah, that's. And then I'm eventually going to get a chest piece over them anyway, so I'm not really too concerned with it. Uh, I just have to wait for the scar tissue to be able to be tattooed. So um, I think that's it for swimming. I wish I had more input, but like I said, I really. Um, avoided it and actually most of it wasn't even about top I mean some of it was about not being comfortable with my body um, just the way I uh, look as far as like weight and things like that and curves <laughs> but uh, but the top thing definitely didn't help so yep anyway I hope everyone's having a great week and I will talk to you next week